Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. So, I recently got my hands on the entire serum roster from Naturium. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the two oils that she has, comparing them to the same oils from The Ordinary. The Moola oil, as well as the Squalene oil. These products were gifted to me, but of course my thoughts are my own. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, beauty, and hair related videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. So here is our ordinary oil. This is the 100% cold pressed version marula oil. And then I have the two marula and squalane from Naturium. I have no idea where I put the squalane oil because the bottle was finished, but just know that I was using them together to see the difference between the two. So let's start off with the marula oil because I have both of them in front of me. The one from Naturium retails for 16 USD. The one from The Ordinary retails for 990 Canadian. So if we convert this to Canadian, it would be about $20 and this one is about $10. So obviously there's like a 50% increase in the price. You are also getting the exact same quantity. This one is 30 milliliters and this one is also 30 milliliters. They look like this one has more, but it's just the size or like the, the way that the bottle is created. This one's up and this one's more wide, but they have exactly the same amount of products in here. So this one says it has 100% cold press virgin marula oil, and this one says it's unrefined organic marula oil. Whether there's a difference between the two, I'm not quite certain, but that is what it says on the label. Into the actual ingredient, they both only have one ingredient, which is Sorokaya Bira Seed Oil. I have no idea if I butchered that or not. Probably did. But they both have the same ingredient in it. The one from Naturium actually does say on the website where it's sourced. This one is from Nambia which is where the marula oil comes from. It is native to Sub-Saharan Africa, so it's nice that they do say that that's where it comes from. The one from The Ordinary, I don't remember it ever saying where exactly they were sourced from, but um, I do like that both of the packagings are UV safe, so they protect against the light of the sun um, from going into the product, which is gonna help with deterioration as well. So I do like both of their glassing encasements. One thing I will say about both of their packaging, the caps of them are different. So first of all, this one, as you can see, as it's twisted, it's a little bit slanted while this one manages to stay even. I don't know if you guys are understanding what I'm saying, which isn't a big problem to be honest. I've never had an issue with it leaking out of the cap, so that's totally fine. Um, the squeeze itself, it's a lot easier to squeeze the one from The Ordinary than it is to squeeze the one from Notorium. It's a lot thicker. Um, yeah, it's a lot thicker. This one is more of like a rubber. This one's more of a plastic almost. So that's a little bit different there in case you guys were wondering. Marula oil in general is a thicker oil on the skin. So it'll be really good for anyone who has drier skin as well. Now it's filled with a lot of antioxidants, which makes it really good at repairing and rebuilding the skin as well as nourishing the skin. And that's one of the things that I love about marula oil in general. I typically use this one at night just because in the morning with my combination oily skin, it's a little bit much for me. But at night, I'll put in like one to two drops in my moisturizer and then put that all over my face and I'm good to go. This really helps, especially when I was using the retinol because I am currently using retinol. This one has truly helped me to make sure that that doesn't dry up my skin and just really lock all that hydration in. In terms of the thickness, I do find that the one from The Ordinary is a bit thicker than the one from Naturium, just in the texture. It's going to feel like there's something a little bit heavier on your skin. So if you are somebody with even severely dry skin, you may like this one a lot more because of how thick it is. With this one, I think it'll be good for anyone who has combination skin. Oily, I, I, mm, oily, it depends. It depends on how oily your skin is. You may get away with it in the winter, especially at nighttime. But in general, I would say maybe don't go for the marula oil because it can be pore clogging if you do have like really oily skin. Um, so I wouldn't choose either of these, to be honest, if you have oily skin. If you have combination skin, dry skin, I think these would be good for you. This one for severely dry skin. This one maybe for... Um, combination skin. Now this one actually says that you can use it on your hair and your face. This one doesn't actually say on the website, but since they're both virgin oils, like you can use it in your hair if you want. Although this one is a lot more expensive, so I mean, would I want to put it all over my scalp? Not really personally. I'd rather buy like a big jug and use that on my hair, but you can if you want to. Okay, so in terms of which one I like more, Let's go on to the Squalane. Like I said, I do have the one from The Ordinary. I have no idea where I chucked it because the bottle's empty. I have no idea where I put my empties products. 
no clue. <laughs> I saved a bunch of my empties so I can do a video for you guys on Instagram, but I have no idea where I put the bag. So, you know, that may take a while. But anyways, <laughs> let's go on to the plants goy lane. The one from the tram retails for $16 USD. So Canadian, that would be $20. And the one from the ordinary retails for $7.90 Canadian. So once again, still that 50% increase in price, but they're both plant-derived squalanes. They're both 100% sugarcane-derived squalane. That's what the bottle from the term says. And then the one on the Ordinary's website says it's plant-derived squalane. Now on the Ordinary's website, the ingredient just is listed as squalane. And from Naturium, the same thing, it says squalane. Once again, I do find that the one from Naturium is a little bit thinner than the one from The Ordinary. I don't know how they managed to do that. Neither of these have any fragrance to them. Literally, the only ingredient is squalane, so there's nothing there. But once again, I would say that the consistency of the one from The Ordinary and the one from this one is slightly different. Like, it took me, I think, a month to really feel the difference between the two products. The one from The Ordinary is going to be a little bit, like slightly, you can barely even feel the difference. It's slightly thicker. And that's only because I've been trying to find a difference between these two products. Not really much of a difference there. But I do think that squalane is an amazing oil for anybody with acne skin, combination of oily skin. It's really good for y'all because it's not going to clog your pores the way that marula oil may. With marula oil, I did find that I got a little bit of closed comedones around like my forehead and stuff, which I typically get those anyways. But I felt like it wasn't getting rid of those. It was just kind of making me have more, to be honest. But when I started using the squalane oil, I didn't see any of that there. So let's talk about the difference between the two themselves. So when I first started using these products for the first two weeks, I was using the one from The Ordinary on one side of my face and the one from Notorium on one side to really see if there was any difference between the two products. And other than that, all the serums that I was using on my skin at the time were exactly the same. The only thing that was different was the oils. I used a squalane in the morning, and then I used marula oil at night on both sides from both brands. Let's take a look at that. On this side, we have the one from The Ordinary. On this side, we have the one from Naturium. And looking at it, so here's Naturium. It feels really nice on the skin. It looks really glowy. My bathroom has no uh, windows, so it's a little bit hot in here. I'm sweating a bit. But on this side as well, it feels really good on the skin. I can say that this side feels a little bit smoother. This one feels slightly stickier. Not stickier, but like it feels like it's slightly thicker now that is really being nitpicking because when you're rubbing it in it doesn't really feel very different at all i don't see a real big difference between the two so far neither of them have clogged my pores neither of them has um made me feel like there's a thick layer of oil on my skin they both soak in very well i think initially when you put it on you're going to get a lighter feel from the notorium than the ordinary but once they both soak into the skin there's really no difference between the two good morning i just woke up just brushed my face, did my skincare routine, and I decided to really just examine my skin to see if I saw a difference. And I am seeing something. Over the past week, I broke out in hormonal acne. This is when my period gets starting, so we all know that's going to happen. So my acne came at the same time. Now, on this side, you guys saw what it looked like yesterday. The pimples here by my chin, as well as here on my cheek, are gone. Like, very, like there's very little that's left right here. It's pretty much gone. They were painful a couple days ago, and now... Not at all. On this side, they are still prominent and they are still red. Last night, I decided to use Notorium all over the face rather than doing ordinary one side, Notorium on the other side. And this is the very next morning. You can see the redness is gone. A lot of the swelling, can I focus? And it just looks like so much more refined. Some of the redness is gone and they have shrunken down. Like. I can't make this up. This is one night of using it on my skin. Now, like I said before, I've used The Ordinary for a long time, and I'm not saying it's bad or anything. It's something that I love, and especially for people who haven't used a lot of these other ingredients, it's really helpful to be able to use something that is not as expensive. Now, I do believe that there's still a market for both, but I can't deny that my skin healed up really quickly just from one night of using Notorium. The side that I was using the Ordinary's oils did have pimples that lingered a lot longer than the side that I was using the Torium. This may have something to do with how thick the products are. Once again, it's you can barely even notice that there is a difference in the texture of both of them. 
barely even a difference there. But for some reason, my skin just held on to acne on one side and didn't hold on to the other side. Absolutely nothing was changed. I oil cleansed just like I do on both sides. I added, you know, acne medication on both sides, but the one from Notorium, the side, just disappeared really quickly. As for which one I say I would love the most or which one I would really go to buy, to be honest, I feel like you don't need to spend a lot on your face oils. I think that oils in general are very simple. Um, they do really good things for the skin. They have the fatty acids, they have the antioxidants in them. Now, personally, I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on face oils. Now, I have seen oils that are like $100 plus, but personally, I would rather spend my money on a serum rather than an oil. The ones from the from Natorium, they are a really good high quality oil. I really do like that. Um, but I mean, the conversion, that's like 20 bucks in Canadian. If you can get the exact same oil that's cheaper from The Ordinary, like why not? Now this is not to say that the one from The Ordinary is gonna clog your pores. My skin is oily and Merlot oil tends to leave closed comedones on people with oily skin. And it was the summertime. So maybe just not the Merlot oil for skin types like mine, but the one from Scalene, I, the one, the Squalane had, you know, beautiful effects on my skin. If you are on the Neutrarian website and you're looking for one to add into your routine, I think these oils are great. They're gonna be a great addition into your skincare routine, especially if you don't wanna wait for like two different packages to arrive. Um, I think might as well just go pick those up. They are really, really good. And they have a better consistency, slightly, slightly better consistency, yeah. But if you are going for the cheaper route, like you're really not missing anything if you're just getting the one from the ordinary. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts on these oils. Have you ever tried squalene on the roll oil? What's your favorite brand for them? I would love to know. And as always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.